We have yet to do anything useful here. There's got to be something here, right? Right, right guys? Maybe yeah. there's a spaceship. Oh, yeah. I really need you right now. I mean, what do I possibly do in this situation? I feel a loss. I really wish you were here. I really do wish you were here right now. You have no idea. I can't understand why you want to leave. Why? I mean, I thought we were in love, you know? I really wish you were here. I really do. Damn. Mind you, Just you hands over to Julian. Oh, oh hell yeah. Garden. He gets the moon. I never understood your fascination with it. Always about the garden. Garden this. Dean, I'm doing the garden. I'm, I'm doing the garden again. I'm doing the garden! I think this is where I left off when you were playing with it. Uh, with me before. This is about where we stopped, yeah, I believe so. Look, I'm sorry. It, it's just so loud. Hell is this? And this does not seem to be helping at all. <laughs> the background music does not. Just turn the voices up. Carrie, it, the voices are almost max. Did increase at all? Yeah. It's just these particular scenes, too. I'm turning it down for stream, but... Watch that be her dead body. Wouldn't he know if her dead body was there? Maybe not, because maybe the murderer put it there and she didn't- and he didn't know. Or maybe... It's an Spaceship. underground lair. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe that's the real, uh... Cavern of Bones. It's gonna be soon once you put Gideon in there. The Sand Tunnel. Ah, uh, yeah. There's maybe some kind of light source in there. But I don't know where that thing leads, so I aren't going in there without some kind of backup. Okay. Jesus Christ. You, you have a phone, you motherfucker. Find the light Use source for the tunnel. tunnel. Use your phone as a light source. Julian, you got a flashlight, brother? <laughs> you got a flashlight? Hey, hey, hey Julian, Julian. Uh, we need your bright face to light up the uh, dark. No answer. Hey, Damn. Julian, uh... So, the, your ca like phones have cameras, right? It's like, yeah. Do, do you mind bringing, bringing your phone over here so we can we can use the light? Sorry, please. <laughs> it's like, what? What do you oh. want, man? Yeah, thank God they didn't go back into his previous room oh. just to do this. Thought about it. Jesus, it still works. You fucking dumbass. <laughs> no, Andy. No, Andy is missing, brother. You're so right, Hunter. And no, he's here's the thing, Hunter. He's not. I don't think he's going in there to inform others. I think he's going in there just for a flashlight. There may be some kind of light. Oh my God. There. But I don't know where that thing leads, so I aren't going in there without some. Brother, didn't you just get the flashlight? Okay. Here we go. Let's find out just what the hell is down this tunnel. Don't say tunnel like it's, it's gonna offensive. Be a, it's going to be a sewer. Oh my god. Someday you go through the rain. And someday you feed on a tree frog. Oh, the light is over. Sorry. Ah, yes. That clearly looks 3D modeled, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's also a green screen. Oh yeah, that's a green screen. I don't blame them for having that as the green screen. 
But they really have to 3D model the fucking desk? Yeah. Yes. You will not believe what I've just found. <laughs> the only way I can describe this is Sarah's dungeon. It's her alien no, sex dungeon. No, not a room dungeon. <laughs> yeah. I'll call you back if I find it. It's dust. Okay. Fungeon. A <laughs> fungeon? It's a fun dungeon. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that thing three modeled specifically? Nintendo Switch. Super Nintendo. Why is it three D modeled? It looks so bad. It's so untextured. <laughs> There's no need for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate. Oh yeah, we just came right back. Thank God they made us go into that tunnel just to go back into the house. Thank God they had us find the tunnel, took us back into the house, brought us back down the tunnel, and then took us back into the house again. Thank oh, yeah. Christ. Totally worth it, right? Would it cost me to make these models instead of just grabbing a random desk and chairs? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's so 128 gigs. <gasps> oh no. What? Uh, therapy sessions. Digital backup. Why do you have these? And we're recording now. Right. Dr. Bernard Harper with Sarah Hamilton, 21st of May, 2009. Session number eight. How are you feeling today, Sarah? No change, Dr. Harper. No improvement since last Friday's talk? Talking doesn't fix things. Well, Hunter, it's okay. It was Word from the underground space, space dungeon. Happening. Okay. There it is again, this ideology that we're under threat from, and I'll quote you here, Sarah, extraterrestrial beings. Mm -hmm. Now... When I say that back to you, how does that sound to you? How does that make you feel? I know what you're doing. I get the mind games aspect of this. Trying to get in here to see where my wiring went wrong. You're in therapy. Wrong. <laughs> we seem to be going on in circles. Him trying to get into your mind to figure out what's going on is the whole point of therapy. I'm here to help you, Sarah. Nah. Those are just Together, silly. We can you can tell that's Rupert's this voice. Case, so that's so probably black. But I need you to no, dude. Rupert is just talented, man. Can we begin to see if we can make progress? Get some closure. Closure. I'll ask again. How does the term extraterrestrial beings make you feel? Fear. I feel fear. And why is that? What is it about these beings that conjure up this feeling of fear inside you? Dr. Harper, when I was 12 years old, my father disappeared. <gasps> he left both me and my mother. Grocery store. For three years. Milk. Cigarettes. We absolutely no idea where he went. No note. No clue. No nothing. He simply vanished without a trace. My father had made us all dinner that night. Pizza and chips. That was his limit when it came to cooking. I remember it like it was yesterday. As time passed, my mother and I both learnt to cope, which as you can imagine, wasn't easy. And then one morning, three years later, I came downstairs ready for school, and there he was, sat on the sofa with a cup of tea in his hand, watching TV as if he had never left. He had no idea he had been away. I'm... I'm not quite following. So your father vanished without a trace for three years. <laughs> three so years. Right, yes. I didn't know what to do. He was just sat on the sofa like he was every morning, as if nothing had happened. My immediate reaction was to run over to him and give him the biggest hug in the world. Here you go, Sarah. Take a tissue. <sighs> Thank you. I hugged him forever. I asked him where he'd been. And what did your father say? He looked at me, confused. He insisted he'd not been anywhere, and even reminded me that 
He'd made us pizza and chips that previous night. Where was your mother? She came downstairs when she heard the commotion. The first thing she did was slap him. <laughs> His face was a picture. So, okay, okay, um... I know. Doesn't add up, does it? There must be some kind of... Oh, there's an explanation. Go on. On my 18th birthday, my dad sat me down to talk. He told me to pay full attention. Our family, our family has always... Go on, Sarah. I'm listening. I'm sorry. It's just difficult to even put this into words without the inevitable judgment. And why is it difficult for you? Because it sounds so... Because it sounds so... Go on. Well, she would have if you didn't interrupt her, so dick. it silly. Yes. There we are. It's okay. It does sound silly. Alien beings aren't a real thing, Sarah. It's a combination of past memories and your child's mind filling in the gaps with make-believe so that you could cope as a child with your father's disappearance. Making up these beings was your cope mechanism. And that's okay. But there comes a time when we need to let go of childish things. No! No! That's not it. That's not it at all. These things have been taking our family for years. Taking? It's been happening to my family through the generations. They need us. They need us so they take us for our DNA. They're dying. They're dying and they need something within our DNA to recreate, replenish their species. This is what my father was telling me. This <laughs> is what happened to him. A few years before he died, he told me everything. I swear to God, it's all true. I know I sound like a lunatic, but please, for the love of God, just listen to me. Oh, Sarah. I think we should end today's session right here. We can try again Why next won't you week. believe me? They're going to come back again, and I know exactly who they're coming after. My kids! Do you want proof? Here! Here's your proof! What is that? A scar? It's where they implanted something in me, so they can come and take me back whenever they wish, wherever I might be. A tracking device. Imagine living with that fear. I see. Okay, yeah. as I said... We'll continue this next week. And Sarah, please get some rest. <laughs> I did tell you this would be a weird one, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, aliens, am I right? First Violet, now this. So true. Just what the f fuck was this? Sarah was speaking to us. <laughs> That's what you're this. worried about, not the alien part. Talk of aliens and abductions. Sarah would be behind my back and spoke to a psychologist Why? without me. Why were you keeping all of this from me? Something's telling me that I might find something else down in that dungeon. <laughs> oh, I would find an SD card down in Sarah's dungeon. Where, what was on it? Oh, you know, she had therapy sessions. God. Like, why was you so upset about that? OMG. Okay. I guess we're gonna go back to the dungeon. It's awesome that you know what they did? They had us in the house, made us go outside to the backyard, then they made us go back inside, and they made us go back down to the backyard to go into the dungeon, then they made us come back up to the house, and then we have to go back down to the dungeon again. Go! Isn't that awesome? That's my RPG. <laughs> That's my fetch quest! Don't forget to watch this scene every time. Oh god. It's 3D. Oh, what's this? Ah. Uh, bracelets, of course. Bracelets. Or very giant marriage rings. Maybe she was expecting Ooh. them to grow. Yeah, like Seven Birdos. Metallic rings. True. Each one engraved with what appears to be random oh, letters seven. from the alphabet. 
what do I do with these? And you know, who knows? Who knows about, about seven, seven bracelets? My man! Julian! No answer. Damn. Alex! You know, the one from the Half-Life series. Yeah. Of course. No answer. Ooh. You know who knows all about this? Bexley! Hey, yo! She's all about Bye, jewelry. What's up, Bex Quest? No answer. Fuck! Okay, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure what they want me to do. <laughs> this is not helpful! Seven metallic rings. What do I... Yeah, that's a good question, mate. Huh. Um, anyone have any ideas? Uh, to the dungeon. <laughs> we just came from the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, but you might need to go back. I'm not, I don't want to go back, please. Fine, go to the church then? I don't know. Okay. They Look. I, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I remember what the solution is, but not how to get to the solution. Okay. Maybe go up the steps this time, because last ah. time you went forward, right? Yeah. I wonder if they have a, a, a seven ring decoder. I wonder if they just keep one. Ah, fuck! They must have moved that last year. Renovations yeah. and all that. Yeah. Actually, you know, I do have an idea since I know the solution, but I don't know if I want to do it because I know because I've played this before. So, any more ideas? We can go to Alex. Maybe Alex knows. Maybe. Yeah, I have an idea. I've got an idea. Alex. Hey, Dean. Stop. Oh. What is that? <gasps> oh, we can it show her. It looks like it should be important. It looks like there should be more pieces. Go and see if you can find some more pieces. Oh, fun. <laughs> what? You mind, you mind telling me where, hun? <laughs> Search for more of these strange pieces. Okay. These notes are great. Public house. It's known for having these. Nope. I don't know. Maybe the hobo had one on him. Nope. Guys, I'm running out of ideas here. Uh, fuck me. Um, the woods. We're going to go check here because it's been a while since we've been here. Guys, <laughs> guys, any ideas, please? No. Gary? Apparently not. Fuck me. <sighs> okay. Um. Moo. Uh. I guess we might have to go back to the dungeon. Maybe Saki was right. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have a genuine idea. Seven metallic rings, each one engraved with what appears to be random letters from the alphabet. Okay, should I? Should what I? What do I do with these? Should I try the thing that I was thinking of before? Should I? Should I try that? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Ah, that was oh, wow. Big foot. 
Bigfoot. That it's seven. Bigfoot. Why did you call me Bigfoot? It's seven letters. There are seven rings. Uh, well, you know what they say about men with big feet. Uh, not if you've had the children. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Love you all. We love you too. Okay, I guess not. That was my idea. Uh, maybe they're in the kids' room. Ruby, we love you more. Nope. One of Ruby's headbands. Some sick bastard is screwing around with me. Uh, okay. Andy, you're known for having strange things. Nope. Never mind. I guess we're going to go back. I'm going to check the house first. Go to the kitchen. <laughs> what the hell? I genuinely don't know what to do. I thought Bigfoot was the right answer. I must have misremembered. Tunnel entrance. I like how grainy it is down here. Oh, apparently they're just more. Yeah, awesome. Oh, why? Why couldn't they just have, have us pick up both? Guys? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get pissed. The metallic thing that I found in Sarah's hidden dungeon. It looks like there's several pieces missing. Is that a great sword? Maybe. It, but that's like that's the handle. This is the blade, right? This this looks like a great sword. This is like a big ass hilt. Some like Final Fantasy sword. I guess we're gonna try calling Julian, my man. No answer. Fuck. Alex! Alex with a Y. No answer. Fuck. I'm pretty sure it's Bigfoot. But I don't know how to prove it's Bigfoot. Seven metallic what? Well, clearly, dumbass, you put these two together. I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna lose my mind here. We're gonna go try to talk to Alex in person again. Hey, Dean. Okay. Oh, thank God. Alex? This looks like the final piece. The only question left now is, what do we do with it? Am I just supposed to click this several times? Can I be pissed real quick, guys? Can I get... Can I... Guys, I'd like to bring something to everyone's attention. Okay. They didn't even... They didn't even make it a, a fucking proper PNG. Look at the background still in there. The white in the middle. They left part of the background in. Dude. Oh. Guys. <laughs> guys. Yeah. Why'd they do that? Why'd they, why'd they do know. that? Ooh, okay. 
They're going to make me click this several times. Huh. You did it, Dean. <laughs> That's clearly not there. That was clearly... <laughs> Green screen on. You're right. There are... <gasps> oh. Dean, I knew you'd work this device out. I always knew you would. I knew you'd figure out the truth. This is a message I recorded for you. A few years ago, the day of the last solar eclipse. I'm going to presume you listened to my tape with Dr. Harper, so you know how significant eclipses are in my life, my family's life. I have the gene, Dean, and so do our children. Couldn't you have just adopted then? Now, Cut them short? This is going to be difficult for you to process. I recorded this message. Yeah, I really don't know. In the case I feel like if you're like, hey, was aliens are taking our genes and like kidnapping, they're going to kidnap our children, and then like adopt. I Fucking. Have been. Fucking cut them. And if I'm Make them go cold turkey. You all, chances are they Trying have the or will have taken our children. Please, please understand that I never <gasps> She never left us. Never. That's where she went. She was now, abducted. This device, Dean, it can take you to the moon. <laughs> yep. The dark side of the moon. I know, no I way. Know it sounds like nonsense. You are our only hope, my love. Your only hope. Dean. Oh no. Be that man I know you can be. Come this is Star Wars all over home. again. Oh my god. You're gonna take us now, to the Now listen, in dark order to use this room. device to transport you there, all you need to do is Way to go, dumbass. Wow. Wow indeed. It, it appears the message was too weak or it got intercepted before completion. Bollocks. What have I gotten myself into here? Hey. You're not alone. Remember? I'm with you at every step of the way. Watch Alex be like her cousin or some shit and he didn't know. Based on what? The fact that she knows about the weird alien shit. She's a <laughs> hacker, man. Hackers know. <clears throat> See, she's going back to hacking right now. Hack, 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 hack. Hack, 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 hack. All right. Uh, black screen still. Okay, here we go. It's Sarah's transporter. It helps me travel, shall we say? I wasn't going to start playing with this thing here. Okay. I am gonna tell. I'm gonna have us go to the backyard. Oh look, a new animation. Where I, I, I think we have to go to the back room. I think I was right about the Bigfoot thing, but I was too early. No, you know what? We call my man. Yeah. We call my man. We're going to the dark side of the movie. We might not be able to talk to him again. No answer. Fuck. Never mind. Fuck you, Julian. Always oh, never answering your phone. Cheating on us with Bexley, how dare you, bro? It helps. I wasn't going to stop. Okay, we're gonna try the tunnel, I guess. It's Sarah's trans. I wasn't going. To... Son of a bitch. Then where? Um, probably in the den. We can try. I'm gonna try the house first. I think the den would make the most sense considering where the hacker lady found uh, the source of activity. I don't know, man. Nope, it's in just it's in the kitchen. Obviously. Also, I'm look. I, I like that it moves it down and then immediately just. Oh God. 
It moves it down to Z and then just has it change. Look, I'm pretty sure it's Bigfoot. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Because this is... I, look, I don't want to be mean. This might, might be my least favorite FMV game. Yeah. Uh, because it's a bit rough. I, I told you that it was a bit weird, but I didn't tell you it was a bit rough. <gasps> oh! Bro, morbed. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side of the moon. And I ain't talking about Mario Odyssey. Dark side of the moon. Oh, I'm sorry. This game is just pretty rough. I'm sorry. I can't take it seriously. Yeah. Well, I don't think it was meant to be taken seriously. Yeah, but there's a difference between taking some. Easy. There's different, but there's a difference between taking something serious, like non-seriously, in a good way and a bad way. And I'm certainly not taking it non-seriously in the good way. I'm just gonna be honest. He's uh, okay, generated. Now let's just re <gasps> yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, I guess we'll go forward. Dude, I love it's all 3D rendered. Why didn't they 3D render it when they got an actual set for part of it? I don't know, man. Touch. Oh. That was some janky animation. Alright, you guys ready for the finale? This is the climax. Oh! Door. Not the door. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. This looks like some really this looks like a really bad, like eighties, three D generated like Star Wars game. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, this man. It's fucking unbelievable. Thank God you said that without moving your mouth. On the moon. I said it was the dark side the of the moon. All along, and so far it looks like Alex has hit the nail right on the head too. Whatever the hell this place was, they were catering for creatures that require oxygen. Foxes. Huge vents. Cold oxygen Foxes. corridors like no tomorrow. You have no proof that they're pumping oxygen yeah, also, dick. <laughs> Why she just assume these pipes are for oxygen? Moving forward. Going back isn't an option. Alice. I don't like you guys ready for the jump scare? Bit. Foxy from Chanaf? Space Foxy. From Space FNAF. Spina the Space FNAF game that PB and Jeff played. <laughs> You're so right. Uh, oh, PB and J, what a good time. Oh. Oh no. Wow, look at you. Ah! Bad boy. Hi. Your parents actually shocked me that you left the house. <gasps> Maybe I underestimated you, dude. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, so what if this funny. is part of shapeshifting detective like and uh, the whatever they call it in that like like the traveler? The, the, the traveler? What if he's the traveler? <laughs> I don't think so. Thank God, only those things echoed. All right, you go forward or right? Right. So yeah, right. Okay. I've got my I've got my 
hand on the knob to turn the volume down just in case. You never know this game gets gonna get super fucking loud. I need to figure out how to open this damn thing. You open it with your heart. Rescue Sarah, okay. Oh, hey. You know what, fair enough. I guess we have gotta go back. Forward it is. At least until we figure something out. Oh no, it's getting louder. Spooky things are gonna happen. Oh. Got a hand on the mouse and other hand on the on the volume knob for game audio. Ah, that's where Doom takes place. The original. <gasps> Julian! No, Julian betrayed us. Of course you don't. All this has been happening right under your nose. Gideon. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not Gideon. I'm still me. I'm still Julian. Oh, okay. That's good. Julian, what? No I'm wonder you were cheating on us. Remember when we first met? At the hospital. Sarah just gave birth to Ruby. You were a part of. Exactly. You see, we've always been watching. Waiting. I don't think you quite understand the importance of your children. Importance? These are my kids. And you're gonna have to get through me to get- Hi, Jay. We're at the betrayal of our best friend. Oh, get his ass. Yeah. Take that, Take Julian. That, Julian, you motherfucker. Oh, yeah. This fight choreography. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, Jay. Why are you doing this? What don't you understand? Without them, our species is over. Our species? But you're not one of them. I am, Dean. But what about our friendship? Our friendship, Julian. And the kids. The oh my god. Star Wars S background scenery. Yeah. It. Also, you're gonna love this in a second, Jay. It's it's 3D rendered soon. Put it this way. You do anything for your own. Yes? Don't you dare try to justify the abduction and killing of little kids, you sick. I'm their dad, and I'll do anything to protect them. Anything. If that means killing you, then I'm past caring. I am past caring, believe me. And this. This whole thing that you I, got I can't going believe on here, our boyfriend is, Julian betrayed us. Uh, he's always been on their side. That's why he, was, he wasn't answering his phone. Dude, it's like when he said, Julian, trust me. We, we I know. could have been besties. We could have been, like, husbands. Oh! Oh! No! Julian! And you fell two inches. No. Uh, no. It's so loud. I've turned it down for stream. Duh. The gong hits. It means that Julian is dead. No. How could right. they do this to us? That's what happens when we go right. That's <laughs> you're so right. You know what? Let's murder someone else. Yay. I need to figure out how to open this damn thing. Oh. Okay. Never mind. So, yeah, Jay, look at this. This is it's it's so three D modeled. It this is definitely one of my least favorite FMV games that I've played. Oh, oh, thank God we get reception on the moon. Oh, 
Yeah, the one cell satellite. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <gasps> Is that Rupert Booth? This Rupee. Thank God we were texting with one hand while we were walking. Yeah. Nah, bro, we were texting with our mind. You see no phone over there? Oh, uh, the children! No! The... Ah! Hi, Rupert. Oh, no, God. Laser. Go. Yellow. You do not need to be doing this. First of all, Deacon, well done even getting this far. Perhaps I underestimate you secondly. How would you like to die? Ooh, um, firing you squad. Are dying. And that's why you took Andy and Ruby. Because you need their DNA. You don't need to be doing this. Please, just let them go. Couldn't they have just like raided a fucking like, blood bank or some shit? Carrie, they're aliens. Okay, they need very specific so. DNA. Oh, you make me laugh. <laughs> oh my god, he left. Oh my god. Dude, he literally LOL'd. <gasps> he snapped and we can't move our feet, I guess. Okay, and I know this is gonna sound really weird, but this is starting to sound like the way things are described in a fanfic, it's like, and then he <laughs> and I couldn't move my feet, did, you know? Did you, did you see the energy pull with his hand? <laughs> oh, in case you missed it. I... <laughs> oh, it reminds me I of forgot. the video of the uh, oh. testicular torsion. Oh, God. That was edited. Rescue Ruby and Andy. Nothing we do it doesn't work. Gideon's too powerful. I say we end stream here and now. I'm just not gonna do anything. What's that gonna do? Is he gonna liquidate our children? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Gideon, why? What if Rupert? So like, uh, cuddles. No, that wasn't right. Yeah, Carrie. What if we use the machine that the wife made? Oh, Bigfoot. No. Bigfoot. <laughs> I'm gonna keep watching that every time. It's so funny. <laughs> Flashlight, blind him. No. Okay. His flashlight's stronger than our flashlight. Also. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> oh, also, I, 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 I do apologize. Uh, uh, <laughs> shout out to, to Jay. Thank you for rating. Uh, hairband. Oh, um. The Texan's still there. Okay. Hair headband. This is so bad. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Uh. We'll call. Yeah, we the cell phone. What if the eclipse was somehow blocked? Block it with your Super Saiyan powers. You can you are getting great ass reception. I'm just saying, I want you, whatever you, plan you have, like well, let me on it. Didn't you read that earlier? Alex moved the satellite in towards the moon or something. <laughs> Allow you the freedom of movement. Oh, thanks, bud. Appreciate it. 
and indeed yourself. Yes, sir. I know you're probably waiting for the sun to be at its optimal, to be able to recharge whatever the hell that is. Is it solar powered? But regardless, you don't need to be doing this. But I am, Dean. I am doing this. Look around you. Excitement is at fever pitch here in Marywine, where in the field behind me over 1,000 revelers have joined together to watch the solar eclipse. However, it is not all plain sailing, as our reports from the one cell network that their entire network capability has No! They were hacked! <laughs> yeah, she just makes, she just gives the satellite fucking propulsion and shoots it at the moon. What the fuck? This is the most confusing FMV story I've ever seen. Yeah. Carrie, the reason we didn't finish this was partially because of how bad it is. I want you to know. I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> it's pretty it bad. It got worse. What a thrill. Through darkness and silence through the night. Oh, no. No, no, no. You see, my game was one final thing to see and that's happening in just over one minute game game there it is again i'm going to kill you i'm a god neither you nor anyone can stop me are you really that fucking dense i'm going to kill you <laughs> i'll go on i'll play along on. Super dad. <gasps> I, I, my phone's not getting a signal. No. Use the laser on Gideon. <laughs> he just he just snaps the satellite away. <laughs> Welcome to my game. <laughs> oh, God. Ruby, Andy, quick, come on, guys. We need to get out of here. Dad, I knew you'd come. Oh, I told you I'd always be there for you. Mum is here somewhere. I know, I know. Dad, why are we in the fucking moon? Dad, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> I just wanted to play my Xbox. <laughs> oh god. In space where no one can hear you explode the achievement I got. We exploded Gideon. We are now you're here, Dad. Ruby, why was Cuddles in your den? When the last man came for us, we managed to make an escape from the house. We made it to our den before he took us. Why didn't you hear us, Dad? We were screaming for you. Daddy was asleep. Listen, are you two okay? Did he hurt you? We're okay, Dad. We just want to go home. With you and Mum, where we belong. Uh, quick, go right. Yeah, I need to figure out oh. how to open this damn thing. Wait, what's okay? I was gonna say, go right. Check on our best bud. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're so beautiful when they're sleeping. What is... Nothing's happening. It's Sarah's transporter. I wasn't going... What? It's just, it's just white. I need to figure out how to open this damn thing. Oh, wait. Tap on. Bottom button. Middle button. Bottom button. Middle button. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. 
I'm pretty sure this is supposed to flash in a certain way. No signal. But like it's not doing that. This torch will... I have no I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't need to look at Ruby's diary right now. Cuddles. Ruby's teddy. One of Ruby's head <laughs> Yeah, some sick bastard. Who could it be? Uh I'm pretty sure this is supposed to flash like a certain color. It's supposed to tell us like which button's which. Uh, it's not doing that. <laughs> There's nothing more we can do but go to these two to out how to open this. Um. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna exit, and we're gonna come back, because I'm pretty okay. sure that thing's supposed to light up, and it didn't. Wow, we love this game. This game's awesome. Oh god. No signal. Whew. I'm not crazy, am I? Nothing's happening. Yeah, no, nothing's happening. The letter that Alex the demand re the letter s <laughs> Well Huh. I need You're to figure stuck out how to open this damn thing. I guess we're not gonna be figuring out how to open this damn thing. Torch will no doubt come in handy. Yeah? Okay. So. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they want me to do. Mr. Cuddles? Yeah, yeah, let me check. Cuddles. Ruby's Teddy. Her friend. Why was it out there den? I think you can understand why now. Maybe. No, so he can't. He can just, he just can't grasp it. Maybe you press the lightest button to the darkest button. Um. I guess not. Diary? I don't need to look at Ruby's diary right now. Damn, bro, not even for clues? What the fuck? Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Key? The keys? My house keys. Uh, laptop? Andy and Ruby's laptop I bought for them after Sarah left. I left it in the house. You motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, if I'm being honest with you, I'm looking up a walkthrough right now. Is it the Bigfoot? It's Sarah's transporter. It helps me travel, shall we say. I wasn't going to start playing with this thing here. Oh, okay, hold on. I just looked up a walkthrough. <laughs> Why is it in such a specific order? Well, the the, the monitor is supposed to indicate it to you, I believe. I think it's supposed to flash in the in the colors, but oh. it didn't do that. Oh. Come on. Come on. So I just looked up a walkthrough. <laughs> oh my god. Talk to them. But for now, we're getting out of here, okay? 
Oh man, this game's awesome. Brought the device. I can't think I got it yet. God, how mental is this? Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Did they make a sequel to this? The Dark Side of the Moon 2. Gideon's Return. Yeah, no, it's awful. I, I, I'm so sorry to say that. It started out decent. And then it just got worse and worse. Well, I think the worst part about it is that, like... Gideon was never like a twist villain. It was always really obvious he was evil just the way he stanced around. Yeah. That and there's like three characters. The Julian thing was a surprise, I guess, but like no one really cares. Julian thing. It wasn't a surprise to me, I'll be honest. Like Like he just doesn't matter. Like he's not important enough for the story. So, like, I don't... Yeah, it's pretty rough. This one's a, a bit of the rougher FMV games I've played. <gasps> Alex! He's a family friend now. Alex, we did it. No. You did it, I did No, no, we did it. I wouldn't be here with my family right now if it wasn't for you. By the way, that TV didn't contain 11.6 billion <laughs> Oh, That's like siblings right there. True. They got a true sibling dynamic chemistry. I got ending three, apparently. What? There's there more? Oh, no, there's multiple. There are multiple endings. Um, There's multiple versions of the true ending? I'm pretty sure all of them are very similar. Like, I think I... I Because I've seen a playthrough of this, too. That's how I found out about it. Uh, well, that's... that's I think I, I got it and then saw... Like, someone was playing it, and I was like, Dude, I want to play it myself! And then I played it, and then I finished the playthrough. Because, you know, I wanted to experience it first. Uh, and... Yeah, no, they're all very similar. The endings really don't matter, except for the pub one. That one's funny, though. <sighs> well. So it's your guys' favorite, right? Not at all. No? What do you mean? See, at least Dark Knight with Cohen Monroe was, like, actually decent. Yeah, that one was, like interesting to like solve their like their puzzles and their games but like it was weird but like it made more sense and it was funny i think i think like i think with dark knight's poem monroe like if they focus like what this is basically an episode of dark knight's both with poem monroe but they stretched out one the episode to be like three hours long and they made it like horribly written I have some of them were pretty badly written, I'm just gonna be honest. Not like this. This is awful. Oh, oh no, guys. Oh. Oh. Does Julian live? <laughs> Dark... It is. It, it is Julian. Dark Side of the Moon 2. Julian's back. Rupert Booth. No, wait, it's the Traveler. Oh my god. No, it's just Rupert Booth's ability. He he actually can do all these things. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh. There you that was That was oh one of the god. games of all time. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I really knew Julian was gonna be bad because the way of like Okay, these people were supposed to be like best friends, and the fact that he's like, "Do you trust me? Do you trust me?" Trust yeah, me? and Plus the, the acting was kind of yeah, yeah like yeah. it makes no sense though because uh, it's just out of nowhere. Yeah, like 
it's both like a twist villain and a not twist villain because it's like a twist because like yes it's obvious but like i feel like it's obvious where you would think it's a red herring right yeah but but no it's just bad writing 